I dare this is Tristan. It's been a while I haven't drawn anything, so for this project we're going to draw one of the most popular helicopters in the world, the UH-1 U helicopter. Very popular during the Vietnam War. So I'm going to use three colored pencils. Uh, Pabell Caster Classic. So let's try to draw again. We're going to draw some basic shapes here. Don't forget the basic shapes that we always emphasize in drawing. So we're going to draw a rectangle. Okay. Then let's try the some oval, an oval shape here. Okay, just follow my example. Um, I'm just ready here with my pencil, uh, eraser. Okay. So this is how we're going to draw. I'm going to draw a helicopter. So I haven't drawn any helicopter yet. So the U helicopter is very basic. So we just uh, again, when you're drawing, try to find a nice spot or reference. Okay, so just follow my lead. So again, if you notice these are just straight lines. If you want to use a ruler, that's uh, it's no problem with that. The purpose here is keep drawing, familiarize. on objects that you want to draw okay so this is a i hope i would finish this uh quickly so if you notice uh okay, this one the the landing uh skid is it skid <laughs> course we had the window here sometimes uh, most often the some portals they would remove the doors probably later in the war they they remove that because you would see most of the time there would be some uh, there would be some machine guns there and also they would later improve the helicopter to carry more arsenals Okay, so this one the tail boobs. Again, when you're drawing, so try to get a nice photo reference and always practice. So we cannot emphasize it, or we have to end. We always emphasize that we should keep practice. Practice, practice. Even if you don't like to draw, so just keep drawing. Everybody hates to practice. I mean, I mean that's everybody. No, but if it if it's going to be your habit, so it's a way of relaxing also the mind. Drawing is a nice uh, relaxing therapy. Okay, so for the propellers, we have two rotor blades. Okay, so in essence, a helicopter is also an airplane. It's just that the wings is rotating, so they, that's why they call it rotary wing. Okay. Okay, so let's just uh, try to color this one, brown. Usually this is could be green. Well, most of, you, most of the helicopters are really colored in green. Okay, so of course we have to draw the stars and stripes for the either US Army or Marines but again this will be for the US forces 
that were deployed in Vietnam. Okay, so this is would be green. So draw it lightly. So if you want to draw, uh, the reason that we're going to draw it lightly so we could learn where the reflection is. And of course, if you draw it dark, uh, you, you cannot reverse the color. So always do it like this. The same as cooking, you would catch the taste by just adding little, little by little or, or flavoring. So it's the same with drawing. If you try to draw, uh, draw it dark already, so correcting it, catching it up, because we're not, uh, especially if you're drawing uh, using both pens, you have no time to, I mean, it's as is. Correction would be, uh, it's not an option. Of course, this is a colored pencil. You could always erase it. Then, just like you to emphasize that when you're drawing, make sure you don't frequently erase so that you would feel how to draw. Focus on drawing because if you keep focusing on erasing, you're not going to finish anything and you end up being frustrated. Okay. So if you're, one thing I know when you're using color pencil, make sure that the tip is always sharp. Uh, when I check some of, uh, some tutorials on, of course you have to check on other people that using color pencils. They would say that they would always have a ready supply of sharpened color pencils ready. So they don't need to sharpen it while they're doing it, while they're drawing, okay? Okay. Again, I'm using recycled paper, so when you're practicing, just use uh, any available paper Of course, uh, no one is stopping you to get a good sketchbook. But again, it's a, it's a good thing that you have a sketchbook so you would, you can review what you have drawn. So if you go back and review your progress, then you have a good profile to archive your drawings. Okay, so this is almost done course this one for the inside of the helicopter so we're going to draw it again I just have probably going to correct this so for, for everything else your focus is, is to draw the helicopter itself so most of this you could always avoid I mean, just uh, practicing. You have to focus on your starting, just the outlines, the, the, the shape. Should be recognizable most of the time for everyone. So if they see a helicopter, it should be helicopter. So, okay, for just an effect, this is already finished. This is just a quick drawing, so I'm just drawing it so the grass because depicting that is going to deploy soldiers or going to pick up either pick up or deploy forces okay so that's it we have finished a you helicopter probably i'm just going to dark it further later So there you have it, a UV helicopter, still being flown in any airports in the world, wow, 
uh, modern UE helicopters would have a four rotor blades, unlike the vintage one, the Vietnam era helicopters, they would have two and the normal tugu 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 when it's flown because frequently there would be some UE helicopters flying uh, from time to time here where I live. But if you, I know a modern UE because the uh, rotor when it's a uh, rotating of course the propellers it has a different sound okay so i'm just going to finish the drawing so this is as good i just have to darken it further but then again uh just like i said when you're drawing just make sure that uh you practice and get some good reference photo and just keep drawing and drawing we have, we always emphasize that practice and practice and practice so again i hope uh, this tutorial have, uh, have some value to you and i have learned something and hope you of course like and subscribe so again thank you for watching and god bless